welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time you've been here before. My name is Jordan Miller and I review boxing gear. Today I'm going to be doing a comparison among the Fly Super Lace in the Gent Premium Leather and the Fly Super Lace in their X line, which is a synthetic leather. All right, so let's get into it. Um, I've had a number of requests, um, both in the comments in YouTube videos, as well as people reaching out to me either on uh, Instagram or TikTok, that's Jordan Miller on YouTube, is the handle for both of those places, asking me what the big difference is, if any, between these two fly gloves. So Fly um, is, a, is a boxing brand based out of the UK. Um, Compared to other boxing brands, you know, the established ones like Winning, Kleto, et cetera, they are a new brand. Um, but they pretty quickly made a strong uh, reputation for themselves for making really high quality gloves. Um, and a lot of pros picked them, not a lot, uh, some significant pros picked them up and used them in their training um, and fight with them. And you'll see a lot of people on their boxing review channel, if it's not their favorite glove, it's in their probably like top three or so. You know, so th these are really good gloves. Um, and with that comes a big price. So one of the big differences between these gloves, the X line, you have, depending on where you purchase them, somewhere around 210 to $240. And you have their premium line, which is somewhere around $245. So basically $200 more uh, above an already not inexpensive glove, you know, 200, 210, that it's not cheap. Um, so people wanna know, is it worth it for that price difference? 200, 210, 240, 440. Um, so I'm hoping today to kinda walk you through and let you know what the, I'm gonna start with the similarities. Where are these gloves similar? Um, and then I'm going to move into uh, what makes them different from each other. Um, and then at the end, we'll kind of round that out and uh, who, who might uh, the X line be more appropriate for and the premium line be more appropriate for. Okay, so first thing, similarities. If you look in the profile here, these are extremely similar in profile, both in height and in width. Uh, on the other side here, the laces, I don't have them like tightened up. They're both kind of loose. So it might look like they're sticking out a little more um, than they do laced up, but their profiles um, are very similar. If you look at them here, the th from the thumb side on, and if you look at them from the, the pinky side on, their profiles are very similar. Um, fit and feel, is pretty similar. Um, so they both come with this very nice silky uh, liner, um, which is very comfortable, and they are both compact. Um, that's where I'll say, as far as fit and feel, that is, um, that is how they're similar, is in the liner, and they, I would describe them both as a compact glove. Um, I'll get into the specific compartments and how they're a little different from each other, in my opinion. Um, another way that they are similar to each other is, I would say, level of craftsmanship. Um, these are made in the UK. These are made in China, but my understanding is that kind of the finishing touches and quality check, uh, quality, you know, uh, quality control is done in the UK. So that said, um, again, I'm not talking about the materials used in each, but just what you get and receive, stitching is good, um, no loose threads, liner is comfortable, um, you know, leather is, leather is nice. Um, so I would say they, they are similar in, in, uh, in their makeup and like the, the level of quality that is put into making them. Um, that that is where I would probably say where the similarities stop, where the difference is. So the most obvious difference is in the materials used to make these. So here we have a synthetic leather. Um, and I've said this before, there are two kind of main types of synth or groups of synthetic leather. Your super cheap synthetic leather 
that people companies are using you know just to to save some money um, and they don't last long and it's just kind of garbage and then there's some very high quality synthetic leather that is can be more durable than genuine leather and last longer i've had these for a long time over a year um, and they are holding up very well so obviously the the durability and quality of this synthetic leather for me is you know out of the is not a question um, you are not sacrificing quality but if you're someone who just wants to know like hey i just i want to know that i'm getting genuine leather you know these aren't it um, so biggest whereas these uber premium leather some of the nicest leather of any gloves you will get um, particularly in this monogram colorway. Super nice. I have a full review where I do a walk around of both of these and give you my full impressions of them. So if you wanna get a closer look, but that is a big difference is the materials used. And that's probably a big reason for the cost. Synthetic leather made in China, premium genuine goatskin made in the UK. So there's a big difference. Um, differences in fit and feel. So Fly X. Um, the liner is the same. I would say the two main differences in fit and feel between the Fly X and the premium line uh, for me are the fingertip area and the padding. So the fingertip area of the Fly X line, um, again, and I'm all, these are the two gloves I have, so this is my experience, is the fingertip area here is deeper and more distinct and kind of separate from the hand compartment compared to these. Um, it's, which is a good thing. I actually prefer the finger compartment of the X line than I do to these gloves because I'm able to get my fingers turned over all the way to make a very nice uh, flat surface. <clears throat> so my knuckles are lined up very nicely with this flat punching surface that you see here. So. Um, plenty of room down there, even a little extra for me to get my fingers down in. Um, and in the padding, if you feel up in this area, they either put a crease there or kind of put less padding in this section. So it's even easier for this to transition from this flat surface to going straight down. And it just creates this really nice flat surface, uh, punching surface. So. Fingertip area, a little deeper in this one. Uh, in, the, in the premium leather gloves, the fingertip area, in my opinion, is a little shallow. I'm still able to get my knuckles lined up where they need to be. I just want this to be like a half inch deeper. And honestly, I think this is like, I think it's because the liner stops a little short. I think the liner, it feels like, because like when I get into the liner there, I'm not really getting as deep as I can into the, the leather here. So it's almost like the liner needed to go a little bit deeper um, because the leather itself, there, I feel like there's a little more room for my fingers to go and the liner is just preventing me from getting into that fingertip pocket. So that said, my knuckles still line up well. So I still, when I punch, it's, it's still a good experience, no problem. I just wish it was about a half inch deeper in here. Second difference with the fit and feel of these two gloves is the padding. Um, so the padding of these premium leather gloves is a little, I would say a little more protective, both for you, uh, the puncher, as well as for the partner, uh, so for sparring. So these are, I would say it starts off kind of soft and then it, 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 it gets, it's a little pillowy underneath, but it's, but it's firm. Um, and I'll give you, I'll try and compare it between, uh, I'll try and so you can hear the, the kind of sound that it makes. These are just a little softer, but still firm. If that makes sense. Like there's a little give and then it gets firm, but it's still this overall kind of pillowy feel. Um, and because of that, like on the bag, it's not quite as much pop and slap as these gloves. So, um, so for comparison, premium gloves, X, you can kind of tell it's a little, I don't know, it just slaps a little more. Um, so the padding here, I would say is, is kind of more on the uh, puncher's glove style. I feel my knuckles come through a little more. 
and um, and a little more of the kind of shock absorbing protective kind and just this really nice flat surface here as well um, that just makes it for uh, like on the bag it's just it's super nice you can still definitely spar in these uh, i think zero zero issues um, but but the padding here i think is maybe a little bit nicer for you and your partner sparring but these are appropriate to spar in as well um, lastly with fit and feel where they are a little different um, it took me a while i've said this in both reviews to kind of get used to this pre-bent curved thumb shape in the fly gloves um, I don't know if it's because of the molded foam, like this foam here is pretty stiff and this, this shape isn't moving. I don't know if that's the foam and or synthetic leather, but compared to the thumb in the premium gloves, um, again, I don't know if it's because this is a little softer than that thumb or the leather is a little more, uh, more soft. The thumb in this one to me is a little more comfortable. It's a very similar shape as you can see, um, but I think it's just the, the type of padding this is really firm, pretty hard padding in the thumb. This is a little softer, still, still protective. You know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna hurt your thumb if, if you were to like get caught on that side or anything. Um, but it's just a little more comfortable. So, uh, so that's those are some of the differences between the two. But like I said before, still both really compact, uh, comfortable, ergonomic hand compartments, different fingertip compartment thumb feels a little different and the padding is different. All right, so those are the differences and similarities between these two gloves. Um, so who might these gloves, like which glove is right for who? Um, if you, what I tell people, if you haven't tried fly before, like you don't, you know, Box Up Nation, he, he's in Texas. He's the only authorized US reseller of these gloves. So shout out to Box Up Nation. You can use the code JordanMiller10 on any purchase there. Save yourself $10 off any purchase. Um, so you can get, if you live near him or you're in Texas or, you know, that would be a place to try them. Or if you know someone like at your gym or something like that who has a pair, you can try them on. Most, there's a good chance though you're not going to be able to. So if that's the case and you can't try them, um, go with the X. They are so similar to these. Again, I said how they're similar and how they're different. Overall, these are very similar gloves. Um, go with the X and try those. That was the, this was the first pair of fly gloves I had um, and kind of got me hooked on them. But I know other people who have tried the X um, or they started with the premium and it's just not for them. There's no, there's no perfect glove out there. Everybody has their preferences. Everybody's hands are a little different. People like different fit and feel. So there's no perfect glove out there. So I would start with the X really because they're so similar to the premium and they are, um, um, and because they're so much cheaper, you know, like $200 cheaper. Uh, the premium, oh, also like if you, if you like that, if you have larger hands or maybe longer fingers, maybe start with the X as well, just because that fingertip pocket is a little deeper on the X compared to these. That could be a one-off. Maybe they just kind of messed up a little bit on the liner of this glove and, and that's what's going on. But you know, uh, that's how it is for the pair that I have. Um, if you like a softer, kind of more pillowy uh, protection uh, for your boxing glove padding, I would go with the premium one. Or if you are, you know, and I am this way, admittedly, like if you're really into the look and like quality of materials and everything being used in the gloves, you have to go with the premium one. This leather is some of the best leather of any gloves I own. And I think this is one of the best looking pair of gloves I have. I think Fly does a phenomenal job with their design um, and just overall aesthetic of their gloves. It is very, very hard to beat. So that would be a reason to go with the premium. Uh, genuine leather lasts an extremely long time and kind of a more pillowy, protective padding over the knuckles. Um, before I wrap up, I, a common, another common question related to fly that I've received is, have I tried, so this is the first generation fly gloves. I got these like the day fly announced they were coming out with the X line. I purchased these from their store in the UK. That was before box up nation sold them. Um, so this is their first generation 
Fly X boxing gloves. This is third generation Fly X boxing gloves. I do not have a second generation Fly X boxing glove, unfortunately. So what I've heard and what many people have asked me about is if I've tried that second generation because the padding was very different from the first generation. Um, and then it was said that with the third generation that this padding is back to normal or back to what the first generation was. So to answer that question, um, first generation, nice flat punching surface there, little bit of, little bit of give, um, but kind of a firm shock absorbing protective padding right there. Looking at these third generation super loops, fingertip compartment, and I'm just saying that fingertip compartment, nice and deep, very nice, kind of a separate compartment there, um, allows you to get your knuckles lined up just like these. And then the padding itself, it might be the tiniest bit, a little softer than these, but below that softness, you, you get that, you kind of have that firmer, like shock absorbing feel. Um, and you kind of, and it does feel kind of like a puncher's glove where your knuckles kind of come in through the padding a little bit and good feedback on them. So, you know, um, may not be 100% identical, perfect clone to the first generation. Um, but if someone wouldn't have pointed it out and I just got these and these were my third, you know, like once I'm done with these and I was just transitioning to these ones, I would be like, I would probably assume, okay, these are a little soft. Um, they're probably just a little softer because I've used these for over a year and they're really worn, you know, so they're a little firmer. I don't, you know, and these will, these will kind of break in, but it's very similar. I wouldn't have thought, oh, wow, this padding is completely different than the others. So very similar, could be identical, um, but uh, yeah, so, so it does appear that with the third generation, that they are back to being very similar to, if not identical to the first generation uh, padding. Um, last thing to wrap this up, um, now that we've done the comparison, you know, how are these similar? How are they different? Who's right for who? These gloves here doing a giveaway. Um, so I'm very close, about this close, to a thousand subscribers. I'm hoping by the time this video comes out, I'm over a thousand subscribers. So once I hit that mark, I'm going to make a post on Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok, on how you can win these gloves. So these, this is a brand new pair of the Fly Super Loop boxing gloves in 16 ounce, never used before. And once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway as a thank you uh, to everyone um, for supporting me in this channel. So stay tuned for that. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. The handle is Jordan Miller on YouTube. I interact with uh, uh, followers there. We talk all things boxing, boxing equipment, boxing fights, training, etc. Um, it's, uh, it's, really, it's a really cool community, so uh, you should follow me there. Uh, this is the last video of 2021. So I want to thank you all for your support through the year from watching the videos liking them, subscribing. Um, it's been great. Uh, 2021 has been great for the channel. 2022 is going to get better. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So you'll be, you'll be in for all of that. All right. Thank you all for your support. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy new year, everything. And I'll see you guys next year.